Dear researcher, when we are going to converting the .pkup file to .csv file, after installing the winpkup using the CIC flow meter, we can face this type of problem like error java home is not set and no java command could be found in your path. Please set the java home variable in your environment to match the location of your data installation. So if you face this type of problem not only for converting the .pkup files to .csv file, for any other task you can watch this video and I think after watching this video you can solve that type of problem. So for solving the problem just we have to follow this instruction I mentioned here. So at first we have to, to install the Java or the ZDK in our system. The problem is basically generate in our system because we didn't install the ZDK in our system. So first of all we have to go to the official website of Oracle. Uh, just I will add this link in the video description. So from the official website of Oracle just go to the below section and from here just click the windows and after clicking the windows then based on your system you can download the ZDK for 86 bit or 64 bit. Since my system is 64 a bit that is why I am uh, clicking this one and just you have to click here and then you have to download Java ZDK for Windows 64.exe. Uh, so after clicking this button then you have to log in the Oracle site. So if you haven't uh, any account in here just you have to create the account and after creating the account you have to click the sign in button so after clicking the sign in button download for zdk will start so after uh, downloading the zdk then we have to install the zdk in our system so for installing the zdk just double click the downloaded file then click on the next button after that again click the next button then again next just click on close so after completing the installation process we can see uh, the installed java just go to the c drive then program files then you can see the recently installed java and inside the java folder you can see the jdk or the installed jdk so after that we have to follow the below instruction actually so first of all we have to go to the uh, this pc or my computer on the desktop okay just follow the instruction on my own just uh, right click your this pc from the desktop and just click the properties option so from here in the right side just you can see the advanced system setting so go to advanced system setting then just click the environment uh, variable so from here in the below section you can see the system variable just we have to click the new option so in here we have to set up the variable name and the variable name should be java home okay so enter java home as the variable name just click here the variable name and we have to enter the variable value so what will be the variable value so variable value will be the uh, link of this zdk okay just copy this link and go to again the system variable and in the variable value just paste here the copied link or the zdk path then click the okay option okay okay now we have to find out the path variable so before going to the path variable just we have to uh, copy this value or the new entry okay again go to the uh, system variable and uh, check out the path variable so now click the edit option okay so now add new one actually and just here just paste the copied value okay now click the ok option now again click the ok button now again click the ok button okay so that's all for solving the problem now if you want to run the cic flow meter then you can easily do that without the problem that we faced previously so from here uh, just open the 
command prompt and right click and run as administrator okay click the yes button okay so in here we have to copy the path of cic flow meter dot bed okay just copy the location and go to the command prompt and just write cd then right click and then enter and in here we know that just we have to write the cic follow meter dot bet just copy the name copy and then just paste here press the enter button okay so now the cic flow meter uh, uh, interface will open and from here just you can uh, easily convert your uh, pcap file into csv file so i already discussed how you can convert the pcap file into csv file i will edit that video in the video description uh, you can solve the problem and you can convert your all pcap file into csv file so thank you for watching thank you very much